Traveling the 16-mile route from Burnsville to downtown Minneapolis on 35W should take about 20 minutes, according to any online mapping tool. Motorists and transit riders who make the trip regularly know differently. 35W is one of the busiest roadways in Minnesota, and congestion adds time to the trip. When the U.S. Department of Transportation offered funding to reduce traffic congestion through an initiative called the Urban Partnership Agreement, or UPA, MnDOT officials, along with local transit providers, got together and put forward a very unique plan. Our innovative solution mixes road pricing, transit, technology options, and telecommuting to provide 21st century solutions to 21st century congestion problems. Ultimately, this new approach will result in more transportation choices, reduced congestion, and a more reliable commute. One of the five states chosen for the Urban Partnership Agreement, Minnesota was awarded more than $133 million in federal funds and more than $55 million in matching state funds. The Minnesota proposal leverages federal funds, keeps project costs low, and pioneers new ways to move traffic. The project also is expected to create 5,000 jobs and will improve safety on the roadway. Road pricing is one important component of Minnesota's Urban Partnership Agreement, which expands the Twin Cities' first price lane called MinPass, which opened successfully in 2005. MinPass lanes offer drivers of single occupant vehicles the opportunity to use the lane by paying a toll electronically. Minnesota transportation officials expect to replicate the MinPass success along 35W south of Minneapolis. The MinPass lane will carry more vehicle trips during peak periods than a traditional carpool lane while maintaining a 50 mile per hour speed limit for transit, carpools and MinPass users. As we begin our ride, we're in South Minneapolis, just south of 46th Street. Buckle up and enjoy the ride on a 21st century roadway. Notice the Metro Transit logo on the structure in the median. This is the new two-level transit station at 46th Street. Express buses will stop here briefly to pick up and drop off customers from connecting buses. This animation demonstrates how the MinPass Express Lane moves traffic quickly and reliably at 50 mile per hour speeds. Traffic keeps moving smoothly because pricing in the MinPass Lane is based on congestion. In other words, the price for single occupant vehicles to use the lane will increase when traffic volume is greater. One key component of this 21st century roadway is signage that, in effect, actually manages traffic. Approximately every one half mile, you'll see electronic signage over each lane of traffic. These signs provide drivers with needed information in order to keep traffic flowing, such as whether or not the MinPass Express Lane is open and the cost to use the MinPass Lane at that time. Electronic signage also will advise drivers of closures or incidents in any lane and post advisory speed limits based on traffic conditions or weather conditions. The use of this sort of technology along the 16-mile corridor will provide real-time information to drivers that improves safety and keeps traffic moving in order to reduce congestion. At 38th Street, the left shoulder of 35W has been converted into a driving lane that extends the MinPass lane into downtown Minneapolis. This lane extension adds needed capacity during peak travel times. However, this section of the MinPass lane is subject to closure during off-peak hours. When the MinPass Express Lane is closed, a red X on the overhead sign will alert drivers. Additionally, lighted pavement markings will indicate the lane closure and act as a guide for drivers to safely merge into the adjacent lane. The MinPass Express Lane will then revert to a normal use shoulder to be used in the event of breakdowns or emergencies. The new roadway also features emergency pull-offs on the right-hand side of the corridor. These emergency pull-offs are designed to accommodate disabled vehicles. This animation demonstrates a new strategy called Managed Road. 
A managed road coordinates the use of congestion pricing, electronic signage, and express transit to achieve safe travel, sustain traffic flow, and create reliable commute times. The 35W Minpass Express Lane ends at the 26th Street overpass. The lane then becomes accessible to general traffic as vehicles divert and sort into their destinations, going to downtown Minneapolis, continuing north and west on I-94 or past downtown to 35W. Well, we've reached the end of our journey along this new managed roadway, but it's just the beginning. This 21st century solution to traffic congestion aims to move goods and services more efficiently and improve the lives of those traveling this vital stretch of interstate, spanning nearly 1,600 miles from Duluth to Laredo, Texas. As a result of it, motorists will experience more transportation choices, reduced congestion, and an improved overall commute on this busy metropolitan freeway.